All right, now that we've got the explosion in our frame and in our stage, it's not going to make sense. This is what you have to think about in terms of, of moving design, motion graphics. It's not going to make sense if that explosion just stays perfectly still as I start to freeze the cat with the icicles, right? So I need to start animating the explosion a little bit. And this is what could be called a movement cycle. The most basic kind of movement cycle is just toggling between two options. So that's what I've done with the eyebrows. So this is what the eyebrows were in the last frame. As Oh, let's see, I'm in the middle of building this next frame since I ended the last video. So I got rid of the ears. Let's see, I moved the eyebrows a little bit. When I moved them, it, it revealed a little problem in the in the explosion, a little edge that was previously covered by the eyebrow. So what I'm going to do is start duplicates of the explosion. And I'm going to mark them with a color. I'll make them orange. Because there's a few different section groups. Turn off the ones behind. Okay, and now with these orange ones, this will be a second way that the clouds can be formed. I'm just going to rearrange them slightly. So with these top clouds, I'm just going to stretch them and grow them a little bit. With these ones, the middle clouds, I'm just going to grow them. Yeah, so you can get more and more advanced with it. You can have, I just don't want them to look s too still. So I want to keep it pretty simple. And then with this little brain fountain explosion, I just want to change the darkness of it. And I can do that with layer styles. So let's put a gradient overlay on it. But the gradient overlay I'm going to use is going to be darker. And I'll use it to darken. And then take the opacity down a little bit. Like that. And then let's see, I think it's on that layer. Yeah, I need to change the shape of it slightly, which will change the texture on it just to get that corner out from there. Up and in. All right, so you see all of these oranges. That's a different position of the cloud than here. And I could just toggle between those two. You see how the eyebrows change and so does the cloud. The tongue has changed, the whiskers have changed. I think this is the next frame is ready. And this is kind of the end of my middle. Next, I'll have it start to freeze. But I'll have to keep these eyebrows and the cloud and stuff moving a little bit, as well as the tongue and the whiskers and the mouth. Oh, I think I have to change the mouth more. Sure enough. Because I want to get the mouth closer to the bigger mouth. So I'm just going to grow the mouth slightly. So many options. Good. Okay. It is a little uneven with the tongue. Let's see. Did the tongue move to the side or is just... Yeah, it looks like I just need to tug my mouth out on this side. All right. So that's the next frame. I think what I'll do is the eyebrows will just toggle between two positions, but the clouds will toggle between three or four positions. And these are called movement cycles. So I don't have to make something new every frame. I just have to work within those, those few that it rotates between. 
pull down option, say layer, merge visible. I think the next stage of TikTok will be all GIF animations. So you guys are ahead of the game. That will precipitate the end of TikTok, and then there'll be the new thing. So select all, copy, paste. But remember to paste on top of your last frame. There we go. And it's funny in animation, just by showing the ears kind of squish and then get detached and now gone, it's going to feel like they had momentum to them, that they got pushed out, even though I never have a frame where they're, they're overlapping the border. But I like to see the change in the clouds because I want the clouds to probably grow and, and shift a little bit more before they settle back down to their default position, which is what I started with. Save that, go back to the original, deselect, delete that merge layer, start building again. So it's mostly, I'm trying to slowly now get to this. So let me play with the eyebrows first. And for that, I can use auto select group. That will take me right to the eyebrows and I can just toggle between that and this. And then the clouds, let's do these first ones. I'm gonna duplicate it, change its color. Let's make these green. Duplicate, change that color, make it green. This will be second cycle. Or third cycle, duplicate, change the color, make it green. Command J is duplicate. Let it grow and shift. A great way to make reflections and like water sparkle is just to flip it horizontal. You take the highlights and you flip them horizontally between animation frames. So they kind of just change at the edges slightly, frame by frame by frame. And then under effects here, I'm going to just play with the settings. to change it slightly. And as it shifts, and tuck it in. Okay, so now the clouds have shifted some more, the brain, and we got to do the whiskers. We're pretty close with the whiskers. In fact, I think I actually just need to grow them this way. Yeah, those look about right. And now the mouth, just a little bit bigger. This will be the last thing I do with the mouth. And because it's the last thing, I should be able to just turn on the original mouth.
I can hit Command Zero to recenter everything. All right, so there we see it. Good. The eyes need to sag a little bit. So I'm going to go to the original eyes. The whites of the eyes. And now the tongue is in place. Need to darken the tongue groove by another 5%. The whiskers are in place, the mouth is in place, the nose is in place. But I might change the coloring of the nose a little. Just play with its inner glow. Just brighten it up a little, just so there's a little, little dy dynamism there. And now I need to start freezing it. So now the icicles come in. I'm going to mark the icicles blue. So many assets now. There's my first one. I'm going to make a duplicate of it. Mark that blue. There's my next one. All right. So now with these duplicates, I need these. I have where I need the icicles to end, but I need to have them start. So the easiest way would be just to have them shrink and kind of slowly form like so. So maybe start them here. and then take their opacity down. And not just opacity, but I could try a different blending mode. So let's see. Let's try pin light at 70%. And then I can change it to layer select. but I'm not gonna worry about like moving their edges and everything just right. All right, so that's taking the group at a 70% pin light. Now let's take the other icicle, do the same thing. First shrink it. So it kind of grows down. Take it to 70%. And then pin light. Okay, so that's my next frame. After this one, it goes to this. Hold down Option, then Layer Merge Visible. I always make sure to say Hold down Option because there's no way for you to tell from the video that I'm doing it unless I tell you. Then Select All. Then Copy. Then go to the stage and Paste. And I pasted it behind my last layer instead of on top of it. So make sure you get them in the right order. Then save. Then deselect and delete the merged layer. And then we're building to the next.